Today is May 25th and we're going to do a face mold with alginate. Uh, we have a, uh, the subject is Belinda and she is holding straws in her nostrils so that she is able to breathe while Dave applies the alginate cast. Uh, uh, and that's actually what they say in Salinas. Continuing so on, uh, the prep is the longest time. And what are you putting on there, Dave? Putting on baby oil. To, baby. Although the alginate, the alginate will release from almost any material. What happens with the eyelashes and the eyebrows? I'm going to do your eye, eyelashes now, so just keep your eyes Is that the alginate will go behind them and mechanically hold them? won't stick physically adhere, but it, it will mechanically get behind the hair. So any hair that's sticking out here, here today, gone you know, tomorrow. Oil it and the oil, <laughs> baby oil. In in the chronicle today, there's the Leah Garcia. Will allow the. Uh, you read it. Will, will read the allow the. Uh, Anyway, some, the hair some to slip people out, and I may actually use a little fastening on this with puff of hair over here. Italy. In the Pope has because the uh, amount of alginate that we're going to need to do this uh, face impression here uh, is too much to mix by hand. You only have about 40 seconds to mix the alginate before it starts to set. Uh, we're going to use a mechanical mixer, a little jiffy mixer here. And the amount, I'll need an electrical cord there. Uh, here. Slip it around the end here. On, Dave is pre mix the alginate. The material should be like um, a heavy cake batter mix consistency. And Belinda right is now, ready. Wait, it takes about uh, two minutes for this to set up, and so I want to wait till the last second. Alright, I'm going to start. Big smile, big smile, mouth close. Right, you want to just. She's you want to relax smile. and think of a nice warm place. That is trippy. Everybody else be quiet, please. Thank you. You want to relax and think of a nice, warm place. Nothing. Sorry. Just, I'll do it. Just you hold the card, Jean. Okay. Okay. Oops, right there. You still breathe there, right? Just breathe slowly. Think of a nice warm. Now this should take about. I'm going to come up this way with my back hand right here. Get on the top here. Should take about probably another 45 seconds or so to start to set. Starting to gel right now. And about 15 seconds before it sets into it. Okay, about five, three, two, one. So the alginate is already set into. We're going to wait a couple of minutes. It still goes through a set for about another 45 seconds or so. All right. It's been about right, two minutes. Can she breathe? Yeah, I'm going to. Oh, flesh. Awesome. Oh. <laughs> Alright, now you should be able to, now you can relax, you should be able to breathe okay. Mm -hmm. right. I'm going to just remove some of this excess. This is the kind of scary part where you don't want to see blood. This <laughs> point. 
No, 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 no. We just take what it is, and we have to we have to do a um, plaster bandage. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I have to use another mold to keep the. You still breathing, on? So Belinda has been laying here for the last five minutes or so and uh, what happens is since it's an alginate mold it's going to be extremely flexible so we're now in a, going to make a mother mold which will be plaster bandages so this will take a little bit longer so we're going to have a slight pause. Okay we have matrix to hold the flexible rigid matrix out of plaster bandages to hold the flexible mold in shape. Hold it in for 10 seconds and squeeze part of the water out. We're using hot water to set this up. Normally these bandages are set up in three to five minutes. Set up rigid but Set them up a little quicker. We're still building an out. So an outrigger, making sure that the plaster connects to the other bandages. And creating a peaked shape to get a maximum structural strength. That sticks to the alginate won't stick to the plaster bandages. The al alginate doesn't stick to anything, including itself. That's how you have to do everything all at once. If you want to stick alginate to alginate, they have a special chemical that you mix up and spray on. So it dissolves the surface of the alginate so you can so you can bond alginate to alginate. If you want to continue this alginate mold and build it up, make it thicker, or actually continue and attach it to this. So the alginate molds don't last really long, right? Uh, they, you can keep them in plastic bags and seal off so they don't dry out. And they they, last they two get three, moldy. Two or three weeks, but they'll start to... Moldy? Because yeah, the nice. organic material will start to grow mold. Nice pun. Moldy and moldy. Nice pun, Pat. Uh, they get moldy. Uh, roll of bandages up. What? Oh. Well, I don't have a Okay, we're back again, and as you can see, we're progressing on building the mother mold. Dave has been using plaster bandages uh, to cover the alginate to make sure that once the piece is completed, that we will have a well-formed alginate mold that fits into the plaster mother mold. Therefore, there won't be any distortion of the actual uh, mold. There's Gene, the helper, is still standing there. This is what I do. If Dave should pass out, I take over at that point. <laughs> at the critical position. Okay. And it, I think you've noticed, I'm not sure, we had on the film the removing of the straws. There's still uh, air passageway to the nostrils. Now that's just busy work down there. Okay, that's Belinda, hold up one <laughs> finger if you're still breathing. Okay. All right. <laughs> Just checking out. <laughs> <laughs> quiet it's still alive. Oh, it's not very good. Picture. I get to relax. No, this is scary. I'm going to put the bandage over the nose. 